Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeter, and I'm back with another review. This time I have a Throwback Thursday review of the G1 Technobots, who we will form to become Computron. So yeah, these are the original G1 figures. It's not a reissue or a knockoff that I'm aware of. They look pretty beat up. Excuse the beat upness of my figures, but they're about 30 years old, so I get the have the right to be beat up a little bit so and I think they are pretty uh, well kept considering one thing I probably will do later on is probably replace a lot of the um, stickers for these guys so I'm gonna review each one individually go through the transformation they're gonna do combined mode with the combined bot it's all right so let's go ahead and start off with our light speed and we have seen some of these guys. If you watch my Warbatron Computron reviews, I've done a little comparison with each of the little guys, these G1 figures with the updated figure. So yeah, here's Lightspeed. He is a futuristic car. He rolls on four plastic wheels that don't all roll exactly. On the bottom side, not too much to him. He got his little Hasbro Takara thing on the bottom yeah so he's like red and cream colored car got the rub symbol right here which kind of works not really kind of sort of so yeah that's it for him not much detail to him stickers are pretty much not there so to transform him all you gotta do is extend that extend the bumper if I can it popped out Extend that, flip it up, flip this back, revealing the head and the arms. And that's light speed. There you can see not much to him. Is that face sculpt? It's cool, not but a big round brick. Articulation arms do go up and down all the way around. And that is all. No leg movement. I guess you get a little toe with right here. You count that. No head, and that's about it. And to his combined mode, you just push him in like so, flip him around to the back, and you get your combined mode foot, and you just put it into the one hole that's right there. And he is a foot. Next, we're going to do nose cone. Nose cone is a drill tank. Yeah, you can see the treads right there. You got little wheels on the bottom for playing action. He's pretty loose in the leg section. Uh, some paint missing from him. Some stickers on here, a little bit worn and whatnot. Drill, rub symbol, and so forth. Rolls like so. And to transform him, just bring that. And we're going to rotate these treads on this hinge joint like that. Like that. Revealing his arms. Use the arms. And bring this nose cone back. And you got a nose cone. And you can see. And you can bring these down without bending that hinge joint. So some kind of some kind of arms looking things. So he has treads up front. Whatnot. Only articulation is his arms. That is all. If he had a gun, he would pick it in right there. And that's it for him. And to transform him into his combined mode, just pretty much go back into his vehicle mode. The arms, flip this around like so. Bring my back. Here's the combined foot. And there's two holes in the bottom for him. So you're going to put it over into this one. This is going to be a left leg. Or maybe it's this one. I think it's this one. If he's off balance, then we know to switch legs. All right. That's it for him. And we got light speed. Not light speed, but uh, afterburner. I had this one as a kid. I don't know how I got it. I just had it. I might have traded one of my um, stuff for him or something like that, but... Yeah, he is a futuristic motorcycle. He does roll. 
uh, wheels do spin, whatnot. And he also has him roll some wheels right here, also. And to transform him, he just you can bring this down like so separately. You know, just bend it all at one time. Bend this around. Form his legs. Bend it down again, pretty tight. Bend, unpeg this, and bend this around. Bend this tire to the back. And you have his arms right here, and there you have him in robot mode. His arms, if he had a gun, he'll pick it in right there. And you can see he's nicely detailed. And there he stands. So to transform him into his limb bolt, so all you're gonna do is transform back to mosaic. No, no, that's lift his arms up like so, bend his head down. And bring it far for a second. And that's you know you bring these bring these down like so. Bring these down. And you take a fist and you plug it in like that. And that's him in arm mode. Next we have Strafe, one of my favorite ones I had as a kid. I think I pretty much had every single one of these guys except for Nose Cone and then um, after a scatter shot as a kid. So yeah, he's a futuristic aircraft fighter. He has guns up front, nicely detailed, rope symbol right there, all about logos, paint. He looks good. One thing about G1 bots, man, their vehicle modes look good. It's just that robot mode look like trash, <laughs> you know. And but we, we didn't realize it then as a kid because we had imaginations back then. A lot of kids now they don't have imaginations, so they can't really picture playing with something like this, you know, without moving legs, you know, knees and elbow joints and stuff like that. Man, we had imagination back then. So so to transform him, all you gotta do is just extend, flip these wings to the back, flip this up, and you can pull these out. That up, bring his hands, arms forward like that. And these can, these are his guns. Probably the one, the only ones I have his guns for. I think I might have guns from the other guy. They got like a big bag of parts and stuff. I might go through the internet and search for their guns and stuff. So let's see if I actually had the guns. So this is him. He's pretty short, pretty short guy. Not many stickers on him. Now, same particular as all the other guys, arms go around, and that's about it. His head sculpt, he has a visor. You see, like the uh, Warbatron figure that's coming out has the visor also, so they kind of going off the toy with him. So, yeah. And to transform him into his arm mode, he just pretty much put him back in his jet mode. Flip this. Up, oh, flip that. Bring his arms down. You can crunch him back up if you want to, or you can leave him extended. Crunch him up and put his guns back in. You get a hand. Bam. Arm. All right, last but not least, we got Scattershot. Scattershot yeah. is also a uh, futuristic aircraft, um, fighter carrier, whatever you want to call him. He has um, three modes to him. That's like most of the, the main guys for these um, combiners. He has this um, his aircraft mode, so you just flip these wings up, landing gear up. He has an aircraft mode. Space Starfighter mode, and he has an awesome mode as in a gun. So what you do, from what I was able to see online, I never did this mode before until today. So I thought it was pretty stupid to do, but bring his legs down like so. From what I understand, you grab the chest piece and you. 
plug it, slot it in right there. And you push this button. And you got a, a, a cannon mode artillery. Well, it looks dumb to me. I mean, it looks like they would grab it for something. I don't know why they did this. It was pretty dumb. So yeah, I think I got it right. If I get it wrong, who cares? Or you can comment, let me know what I did wrong. Looked on some pictures on the internet. They did have one was like, the wings were back like this. And they had someone standing behind them. Yeah, yeah, don't care. All right, to transform him to robot mode, all you gotta do is flip these wings to the side like so. Undo that. Uh, rotate him. All right, let's this way. Push legs around like so. I'm lifting this up at the same time. Legs, legs. And you rotate his upper torso or under these arm right here because it's gonna get in the way rotate upper torso undo the other arm like so like so and you bring this down oh got the legs bring this down bring this tail piece up and it should slide in between this groove right here then you pop up his head. So there you have Scare Shot. He does have these guns right here. I did find the other one. I saw it online with look up his artillery mode. Right here. Plug him to the sides right there. And he has the gun for Computron, which is his main gun right here. I think. Have a tight fit. I think he's supposed to use this gun. I don't know. But yeah, take a look. Uh, it looks cool. Got some paint on his face. All the others are blue paint. Back, nice detail and stuff. Articulation. He has the most articulation out of the, out of the bunch. Arms do go around 360. Can give some outward motion at his elbow. Was kind of funky. Ouch, that look that hurts. He has a nice little uh, handgun right there. That's cool. Like I said, get the shoulder cans right here. And legs do go forward. Can't get a beat, knee, beat uh, bend at the knee, but exposes his combiner joints like he just broke his leg. And he has a waist rotation just due to the transformation. So I think, no, he doesn't because you lock him in. Sorry about that, I was incorrect. So if you bring this thing down, he can't get some waste of articulation. So yeah, he has, most of his stickers are gone. And I can't tell if this, he's supposed to be this yellow or cream color, or is it just from years of oxidation or something? So, so yeah, he's cool, man. Huh? Looks real cool. And let's do a comparison to the rest of the team. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. And bring him in. And you can see that he towers over the rest of his team like so many other G1, the five team combiner bots did. Yeah, he looks re reminiscent too. Reminds me of um, TOC's Predator King, because their Razor Claw was like ridiculously huge and the limb bots were small. All right. And to do his combined mode, what we're gonna do is take this gun out of his hand. I'm gonna take these out. Bring this down, push his head down, and we're going to bring these in. Easier to slide up to the side like that. 
Green. Go to his waist. Get in like that. Bring that in like that. That. And we're gonna bend him up. Look at that. Ugh. This ain't mine. I bought this second hand from somebody. So yeah. Bam. I'm not sure how much I paid for. I probably paid too much because that's back when I first started collecting. And I know a little better. So yeah, I got this chest piece right here. And you just plug it in. And it should just plug right on in like so. It plugs in over his little crunch. And, and there it is. It stays in nice and secure. Next, what we're going to do is get the his head. Copy try head looks very accurate. Plug that in. And there you have the torso. Bring the guys back in. Let's go and combine this bad boy. So take him, take his head, and put it into this port right there. So next guy, you can see when I was talking about him leaning loose, he falls back like that. So let's hope he stands today. So I'll plug that in. There you go. See if he's standing. I think we got in the wrong foothold. That's better. There we go, Stan. You take him, so plug in right here. Bam. You take bam. And right there. And there we have the Technobots formed into Computron. And he looks awesome. He is my favorite G1 combiner. That I have. I pretty much have all of them. Except on the, as far as the cartoon. Until the um, the, uh, the USA cartoon ended. That's when my combiner stuff collection pretty much stopped. I do have the uh, BBTS Piranicon. Still in package, but I don't count him. So, yeah. So, I get this gun. Just plug it into his hand like that. Like so, he looks, he looks awesome. He looks very beefy. Well proportioned. Look that guy, his, his big old, all this stuff hanging out the back though. But who displays their figures from the back? Not me, not me. You could just, you could bring it down if you want to, like that. If it bothers you. But you really can't see it from the front at all, you know? And I was talking about the message boards that the, um, Warbatron, Computron, needs a chest shield very badly. Very badly needs a chest shield. And um, he looks just like this Computron without the chest shield. So he pulls chest shield off. And this is your Warbatron, Computron. So I'm hoping the last figure they release, the Strafe, comes with a chest shield to put onto the Computron. Because he is very missing something. <laughs> He's missing something so bad. But um, back to this guy. Put the chest shield back on there. Yeah, as far as articulation goes on Computron, arms do go around on a nice little ratchet. Both ones do. Get a little bit of outward shoulder right there. A little bit more on this guy. But be careful. I always hate it that you get these connect these guys connected by these little these this plastic right here it, it seems to be pretty tough plastic but still oh plug and leave a little more so that was great so yeah so you get a little bit of outward shoulder motion uh wrist do rotate because since they're, they're pegged in no waist rotation forward movement a little tiny bit at the leg so a little bit backwards so you probably give him a little walking stance like that and his feet do rotate because they're just pegged in head does not move at all so I love this uh, combine. I like Tommy Tron period because he uses his 
his uh, intelligence to defeat opponents that are stronger than him, like Abominus. And for a uh, little size comparison, let's go ahead and bring out Orion. Yeah, Sun Streaker. And my G2 Bruticus. Here is my KO Superior. And G1 Robins Prime. Yeah, that's about it for um, this review. And he's a great figure just for the, the time period that he existed in. He he looks pretty good today, you know. And I wish um I wish that what we're trying to do make a chest shield for this guy because he is there is a solely missing one. So yeah, thank y'all for watching my review of the G1 Classic Throwback Thursday. And stay tuned for more figure reviews and other Throwback Thursdays. See y'all later. Peace.